chicos. Hola chicos. Bienvenidos a una nueva edición de Ruta 226. Somos el Ministerio Infantil. ¡Ruta! I hope you all are doing very, very well. Before we get on for on today's lesson, let's talk a little bit about what David taught us last week. I hope you guys remember. Hmm. David taught us that Jesus is our leader and we see him leading our lives because without him we will be lost, right? I hope you guys always, always remember that. Okay, well, For today's lesson, I have this right here. Y'all know what this is, right? Right, it's a remote control. You use this to turn your TV on, change the channels, turn the volume up or down, right? Okay, y'all might be wondering, what does this have to do with today's lesson? In our Bible lesson today, we learn how Jesus showed people his amazing control of everything around him. It was the Sabbath day and Jesus went to the synagogue. The synagogue is another word for church. So Jesus went to church that day. He went to church to teach. People were amazed at Jesus's teaching because he taught them with lots of confidence. Because Jesus knew the Bible better than anyone. Because, well, The Bible is his book. Okay, well, back to our lesson. There was a man who was possessed by an evil spirit. When Jesus got near him, the man said, What do you want, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus said, Be quiet. And then he told the bad spirit, Come out of there. And y'all know what happened? The spirit did exactly what Jesus told him to do. He came out of the man. It obeyed him. The Bible says the people were so amazed. Wouldn't y'all be too? They looked at one another and said, What's going on here? Even the evil spirits obey his orders. There was power in the words Jesus spoke that day. On that day, Jesus came and took control of the man's life. His life changed forever. And just like that, Jesus wants to be in control of your life too. He wants to be in control of the plans you make, the words you say, the things you do, and the places you go. Why? Why does he want to be in control? He wants to be in control because he wants what's best for you the bible tells us that god has a plan for us it is a good plan that will give us hope and a bright future but we will never see that plan work unless we allow jesus to be in control remember trust jesus well i hope you enjoyed my lesson and i hope y'all allow jesus to take control of your life See y'all soon. Go. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's Sunday lesson. What we're going to be doing today is some control loops. So what you're going to need is paper. You can have colored paper if you want, like I had before. Um, a ruler, uh, glue or tape if you have, scissors, a pencil, and a marker. You can have color markers. It's, this is going to be used to write in the words so you can have any color you want and what you're going to be doing first is you're going to take your paper if you have colored paper that's fine you're going to want a lot of different colors if you want to want to use color paper to make it more colorful like this if you just have white paper you can use white paper that's fine but you're going to want to make uh, a lot of different uh, thin strips so what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and use the inches so we're going to go to inches Inches. <laughs> inches, inches. Sorry, you're gonna use it to measure eight centim, eight sorry, eight inches long, just like that, eight inches long, and then one inch of 
thickness. So it's one inch and then eight inches long. So as you can see, I had already marked it beforehand. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut that out. And it's going to end up looking like these thin strips, like these. And I had, I had used color ones. So as you can see, I have six in my hand right here. You can use many more if you want to just keep it going. Or if you want um, more, if you have more ideas to write in them. But what I wrote, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take your, you're going to take your strips, sorry. You're going to take your marker and you're just going to write in what you want God to be in control of. So for me, I have God is in control of my, and I can put whatever I want, but I want for this one, I want to put God is in control of my health. Okay, he's in control of my health. And then you're just going to do the same to every strip you have. So what I put is, God is in control of my education, of my daily bread, so whatever I eat, he's in control of, of my family and their health as well, of my church, and of my life overall. He's in control of my life. And if you if you have more strips and more colors that you want to use, you could add, God is in control of my friends, God is in control of um, the, shelf, the roof under my head. But these are just some examples. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your strip and on, on the front of it, on the front of it, at the end of it, you're going to glue that. You're going to put some glue there. And if you don't have glue or a glue stick, you can just, you, what you're going to do is just fold it like this and stick the back of it on top of it. So like this. And if you don't have glue, you could just tape, put some tape around that and that's, and that's what's going to look. And look, it's going to look like a little loop. That is in control of my health, like that. So what you're going to do with the next one, and pay attention because this is a little tricky, and don't forget, you're going to add glue to the same part, right, at the end. But instead of folding it just like this, you're going to take the other one that you did before, and you're going to loop it inside of it. And then fold it outside and stick it to it. You see, just like that. So now you have this little loop going on. And you're going to do that with the rest of them. So you're going to, all these fours, I'm going to add them up to the rest. And it's going to make a longer loop chain like this. And then after you're done, you could add more. I have six here, but after you're done, you could just hang it inside your room, wherever you want. And you could pray on, like pray on the things that you wrote. So whenever you pray, you're like, God, I want you to be in control of all these things in my life because he just wants what's best for you. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.